I used to have it all. Wealth, a horde of goons, but most importantly, immortality. You see, hearts are the most valuable resource on this server, considering the fact that when you kill someone, you gain a heart, but if you die, you lose one. Instead, I had gone around the system and gone into 20 hearts through exploits. But the problem with being at the top is that there's only one way left to go down. The owner of the server had contacted me, forcing me to strip myself with the hearts pulling me back down to 11. They tried to weaken me and make me look like a fool. I couldn't let that happen. I gotta get back to 20 hearts. See, the first thing I did on my path back to 20 hearts was attend a Jeopardy event hosted by another player on the server. The winner would get a whole heart, but what he forgot to mention is that the losers would die. Look, at this point, I was willing to do practically anything to get my hearts back. So when Terrain made me sign a contract to get on the game show, I secretly may or may not have added a clause that allowed me to kill him if I lost. You remember that yeah. little contract you made me sign? Uh, Yeah, what about it? I may have made some revisions, you know? Remember that one clause where you're like, if I lose, you're allowed to kill me? Uh, yeah. Well, legally, I'm allowed to kill you if I lose. And you you are screwed unless you get me the dub. All right, sweet. Well, pleasure doing business. Although that was a giant success, I needed more. In fact, all my journeys to get back to 20 hearts, I actually ended up rigging a gambling machine so one person lost and I won. However, all these civil acts to get hearts back was not pleasing. I realized that the only actual way that was satisfying enough to get hearts on the server was through blood. And now that I had a couple of hearts, I was confident enough to go back after the person responsible for taking them in the first place. Parrot. I knew exactly how to do that. By planting a tree. Parrot believes that this tree has been here since the very start of the server, which I, I mean, I don't know, but what, what I did tell him was that I stole it and that I was holding it hostage. It was pretty stupid. I, I don't know why it mattered that much, but he was furious. So all I had to do now was wait. Now there's Treb, the original tree. Oh yeah, you want to see something? Here, check out my sword. I know that was the call, but like, you know. You realize I... you're implying that you are the fairy and then you're killing <laughs> anti-fairy. Oh, I mean, no, maybe because I'm the wielder, I am the anti-fairy slayer because the sword is also- Yeah, made. exactly. You're the slayer of anti-fairies. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, wait, guys, they're right behind you. What do we do? There, there's like a guy up there. Oh, there's that, two that's... guys up there. Oh, there's a- Wait. They, are they shooting at us? What's going on? Hey. You missed. I, I don't know what they're doing up there. They're just kind of like hovering above us. Is that the tree? And just as I predicted, they were too focused on the tree itself to realize they were falling into my trap. And while they were preoccupied retrieving the tree, it was time to execute order kill the vegans. Get him. Target vortex. Get him. Get him. Okay, well, get parrot. Get parrot. Get him. Let's go. Get <laughs> Beat him. Get him, bird boy. Yeah. This whole time. Go behind you. Oh no. Oh, there's a lot to go. Okay, just um, go. Just go. Get him. I wonder I if I could pearl this straight. Oh yeah, I'm I did not pull it straight. No, <laughs> no, no! I'm in the water. <laughs> I got another pearl. Can I land it properly? I no, I miss it again. <laughs> Okay, note to self, I gotta work on my e pearling skills. That that was terrible. I practically had Parrot in my grasp and wasted it. Knowing a second chance would probably not arise, I decided to divert my attention to weaker targets. Pangy, stop running away, Pangy. All right, all right. You're not gonna get Barman. But as I was chasing him down, he just disappeared. But a few moments later, I heard this in the background. <laughs> the person yelling in the background was none other than Rankram, a player notorious for escaping the deadliest traps on the server as well as being the most wholesome dude around. And this time he came to the rescue of Pangy right before I was going to kill them. Well, I, I'm a bit betrayed by, you know, Rec Rap right now. Why do you feel up. betrayed? Well, you, you, you helped the guy <laughs> no, that Rec owes Rap. me. Why does he owe you though? You, because I want Your only reason was because you want it. I feel like it's a pretty legitimate because reason. None of it made any sense until a few days later when a player on the server by the name of Pofa told me to get in a call with him very quickly. So backstory to this. Um, I was in VC last night with Spoke and Spoke was on like an iMessage call with Ro, Jaren, RecRap, Parrot, but I could hear Parrot through Spoke's mic and here, I'll, I'll just let you listen to this. Start, start tickling him and then scare him off the bed. Do you hear that? I heard kill Redunes. Okay, Parrot wanted to kill me? That was pretty obvious by now, but Pofa mentioned he was in a group chat with several other people, including none other than Rec Ramp himself. 
So there was a conspiracy after all. It was at this point I figured that the interference from Rec Rap earlier wasn't actually a rescue for Pinky. It was in fact a sabotage for me. This entire time they've been preventing me from reaching 20 hearts. So before dealing with the whole plot to end me, I sped around my way back to 20 hearts by manipulating a player on the server. Jaren, look at me, look at me, look at me. I Why? let you have that heart for over a week, you know. You know there's a thing called interest? when you take out a loan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Originally, the rate was a day, but, you know, it's kind of been compounding, you know. Then give me give me a moment real quick. Give me a moment. I need to pull a bow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of owe me something big. I mean, just one heart. That's a bit that's that's a bit what disappointing. Big? I'd say like five netherite, maybe. Dog. No. <laughs> How about one of your hearts? And I'll, no. gi I'll give it back once you do the deal. <laughs> yeah, you can trust I'm me. I'm waiting for, uh, I'm I'm waiting for like someone to save me. <laughs> I'm, I'm really in a predicament right now. You're just waiting for that <laughs> random eureka moment. The thing is, reaching 20 hearts was the easy part. The problem would be retaining them. Unlike last time, I now had a target on my back. But maybe if I could slowly pick off one member of the conspiracy one by one, I could slowly take down their numbers without them even being able to react. With that in mind, I hired my comrade Don Turn. We went over to Rec Rap's castle and and waited for him to return to ambush him. We're gonna water bucket down, right? I'm gonna splash us with invids. And then, uh, yeah, then it'll be anarchy. Then we, we hope for the best. Yeah. Okay, so tiny problem. You know how they usually say that, like, if anything could go wrong? It will. While we were there waiting for Rank Rap to return, and there we saw it. The entire enemy team coming with them back home. They're literally all here. What the f? <laughs> a 2v4? <laughs> Wait, there's a bunch of people right here. Oh, I messed up on that. You messed up? Wait, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm recouping around the bridge. How you doing? Uh, I think I'm doing all right for now. Okay. I just felt like I was going to get pushed off to the side. Oh. I'm getting wrecked. I'm in a 2v1 right now. Yeah, he's poisoned. Yeah, I'm, I'm running out. I'm running out. Yeah, there's a trap in that tunnel for sure. Is it for sure? All right, let's stay. Let's stay Without a doubt. That's, that's oh, me that right there. I'm invincible. Okay, my bad. Yeah, I don't trust it. They were just waiting there. Like, wreck lured me in. Oh, they got thorns. What? Who uses thorns on their armor? All right, so right, right, you have I'll just try my best to stay away from you. Oh, they got shields. Oh, of course. Hey, yo, no shot. Oh, f I'm about to die. Uh, okay, see you ah! again. And there goes my chance of victory. With Don dead, there was probably only one thing left to do. Tactical retreat. So, there were a few things I took away from that encounter, the main one being, I am screwed. You see those guys? They aren't just any group of people trying to kill me. They are the Revengers. They are literally known for assembling to take down any threat or people they deem problematic. And supposedly, I was their next target. Any chance I had before to save myself was doomed. My hearts were practically as good as theirs. Okay, so I may have found a way out of this entire mess. You see, I was sitting in the public voice chat the other night, and then I heard Parrot mention something intriguing. It's called the Trust Diamond. Okay, interesting. Go on. So, Rek and I each have a copy. We each both have one Trust Diamond, and it's like the one item that symbolizes our trust. Okay, that was probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard, but if it meant a lot to Parrot and Rek, then I could probably use that to break their alliance, right? And fortunately for me, Parrot mentioned he lost the diamond the other day, and even better, that Rec Rap would kill him if he found out. Unfortunately for me, the person who now owns the diamond was Yad Jaren, but I was desperate for a chance to rescue myself from death, so I urgently messaged Yad Jaren regarding the whereabouts of the trust diamond, and he placed it in the middle of the end. 500 blocks out! Okay, does he seriously think I'm about a bridge over the void, risking my own life for a stupid die? Have you ever done something very stupid? Yeah. What are you doing? Looking for something. Are you in the end? 
maybe. Well, I, I know what Paired was doing in the end. There is nothing there. At first, I didn't think much about what Spoke had to say, but then it hit me. How did he know I was in the end looking for the trust diamond? Do you know that and because he wasted Paired his didn't time. find anything, or...? No, because the person who set it up told me. To be honest, Jaren punking me by sending me on a false goose chase for the diamond made sense. I mean, I, I'd, I'd scammed him just a few days prior, so, you, you know, it's karma. But as I was preparing to give up, Spoke mentioned something peculiar. But you'll have many more chances to get it. You sure? Yes. Now, I didn't think much of it until later that night when, bam, Spoke announces an auction for the trust diamond. So we had it this entire time! Bruh. But the one thing that stood out was why were they trying to sell the diamond now? I mean, they had paired on the run for weeks, so why were they just letting that go now? Unless the auction wasn't meant for Parrot. So I was heading over to the auction, and most things seemed ordinary, except the fact that Rekrap was in attendance. The whole point of this hunt, according to Parrot, was that Rekrap didn't know he lost a diamond, and if he did, he'd kill Parrot. But nonetheless, the auction proceeded in his plan. Alright, All right. two totems! Two totems! Going! Three totems. One Three. dollar. Bro, Radunes, actually, bro. Two right. dollars. No, no, it's, it's just like, if this is for someone's content, and you keep saying like, three totems... What the? So the auction was a trap, which I kind of figured, but you know, I, I'm disappointed. I, I was expecting them to do something grander. And with that fail, everyone started questioning the legitimacy of the trust diamond. And with that, Rekrap decided to step forward, offering to help validate it since he had the other one. In doing so, Rekrap did prove that the diamond was real. However, he also accidentally revealed his chat where Parrot leaked the entire plan to scam me. This entire time, the trust diamond was a fake. Luckily, I kind of foresaw that, so I, this entire time, I've been devising a second plan to take down the Revengers in case a trust diamond failed. And then my eyes wandered to the very same person that sabotaged me earlier. Rekrep. AKA, Parrot's most trusted ally. You see, a while back, I stumbled upon a specific video by none other than The Terrain, where he publicly vowed to kill Rekrep. Of course, this got Rekrep very concerned for his own well-being, so he ended up doing a server-wide search for the trap, but ended up not finding anything. But well, what if I told you that's exactly what Terrain wanted? Because he found out that Rekrep's one flaw and weakness was paranoia. What are you guys doing? Nothing, 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 nothing. And since Rekrep is close friends with one of the Revengers leaders, I could probably use that to take down the entire operation. Big brain! Well, you may be wondering what this has to do with me. Well, Terrain went off to take the SAT, so he'd been gone for about a week or so. And during this time, Rekrap was looking for the trap. The problem is, the trap was in Rekrap's mind. This entire time, there was no physical trap. But with Terrain's absence, Rekrap was desperate. But maybe I could use that to my advantage. All right, so listen up. I, I know that you've been intrigued about our boy Terry's little endeavor. I have information on what you're looking for, but it's gonna cost you. And there, there's a certain guy you know. Parrot. And I think it'd be very funny if you sold them out to get this information. What kind of information would you be providing me? I will give you a description of what it is. I will also give you a coordinates to where you can find out more. Well, if you could sweeten the deal and tell me all of the, the coordinates, I will kill Parrot for you and give you his heart. And to sweeten the deal, I will also give you some bananas. Interesting bananas. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you, though. I accept. You accept the deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. All right. Let's shake on it. Now before you ask, no, I'm not actually going to be giving Rekrap Terrain's actual trap, because there never was one. This entire time, Terrain was just playing mind games with Rekrap, making him delusional, thinking there was a trap to get him. So to fall through with the deal, I spent three days building a fake trap, mimicking how Terrain's trap was possibly perceived by Rekrap. But just to be sure, I invited Terrain to take a tour of my handiwork to see if he approved. Okay, so, so you Terry. set up a secret <laughs> Well, okay, see, yeah. I, 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 I was thinking, right? If I was Terry, what would I do, right? Basically, I just yeah. made this, like, tiny little minecart trap. Okay, and then you finally come to a room. But then, on top of that, right, I made a very confusing little dugout of bedrock and put soul sand uh. here. If Rekrab does find this, it would just be a bit confusing as to why this is. But, Terry, Terry, um, Terry, there's a, there's a stasis chamber under the heart bank, apparently. I yeah. gotta, I gotta ask right. you for a bit of assistance. Will you set that up and you could just get me right. out of there instantly? Yeah, I, I can, I can help with you. Uh, stasis that's that's no worries perfect, perfect and as we were leaving terrain had the perfect method to validate the tramp as his own uh, oh snorkel conquestador is will this, know that wait, this is, is this mine yet yeah, this is my dog this oh is my dog. that's perfect that's huge dude it's so good that i brought oh my snorkel God. bro <laughs> dude you just brought the perfect alibi everything was perfect everything was planned and set in motion now all i had to do 
was rely on Rekrap to betray his greatest ally. Hello, Rekrap. Oh, oh, what's up, guys? Oh, uh, and Parrot, do you want to go to VC2 real quick? Yeah, that works. Okay, okay. All I want you to do is is go over there and read the book. That'll give you instructions on the next thing to do, okay? All right. I'm sorry, Parrot. <laughs> Gosh, that worked so well. Did that actually work? Look at the chat reading. Nah, dude. <laughs> it's hard. What? No, no, hold I, I, I'm leaving. Hold I'm on. leaving. This is where the damage is. Where's all? Dude, they fell right on his Where, head. Where's all he his didn't stuff? Didn't suspect a thing. It blew up. Nah, there's no shot. <laughs> Okay. What? Pair not dropping stuff was a bit concerning, you know? Like, usually a person would drop a whole inventory's worth of stuff, which is a bit off, but at this point, I, I was in too deep. If I if I question it now, he would know something was up. And so, all I could do was play along. Yeah, no. Actually, here, hold on, Rack. Look at me, look at me, look at me. I actually had a contingency plan in case you failed. No, 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 no. What's no. the contingency? Oh, uh, this is awkward. Okay, this is very awkward. Okay, okay well, not... luckily, luckily okay. you didn't betray me. Remember how I made a deal to sell rank grab two coordinates for killing Parrot? Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest, I kinda lied. I only had one coordinate, so I had to do the one thing great businessmen do. Scam. Greg, you forgot mm -hmm. about half the deal. <laughs> what half did I forget about? You're not serious, are you? I set up one in one of his hearts, Rick. Did you actually? Yeah. Well, I then why did you why did you okay the TNT explosion bit? <laughs> well, I thought you'd get credit. Well, I I don't know, man. You're you're the mastermind. Look, I I, I would be kind of scamming you if I didn't provide something. So yeah. I'll give you one part of the deal since this is like half the deal, half the price. Like, what I will give you the coordinates, and uh, that is literally in that direction. I could show it to you if you want for the yeah, sure. You want to go there now and just like talk about the info while we're walking? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. But yeah, so what exactly is this information? Yeah, you remember how I told you that terrain's like entire trap wasn't actually a physical trap, but you know, a mind games one. I don't really know how to explain that to Rank Rap. I think it's better just to play into his paranoia and describe the ultimate trap. He, he's been like working on several parts. He wants soul sand, then dripstone, emerald ore. Yeah, basically he's shooting like a bunch of potions on you, right? I'm not entirely sure, but I think he's doing it underground. The main killing mechanism sounds like it's gonna be potions. I think that's and more just to debuff you. Yeah, I could tell Rankrip wasn't buying any of it. I mean, come on, I was listing every kill mechanism in Minecraft. So as I was bringing him to the actual trap location, I decided to change my plans. I was going to act completely oblivious and let him find the trap himself. Wait, you don't know where Terrain's thing is? I know it's around here somewhere, but I actually don't know where specifically <laughs> oh, it is. Come on, Red Hoon. I don't know. Alright, I'll know. begin my search, I guess. Mm -hmm. You never know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't know if that's a duplicate, but it was. Wait, nice. yeah, what it's isn't this Terry's dog? I've got to be it? honest, I didn't actually notice this was here. If he said it was like around, I don't think he would have put it like in the basement, you know? You remember how he said like there was bedrock? Could it be like below? Do I dig down? <laughs> if you want, <laughs> I'll just watch, I guess. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. <gasps> Whoa, Redoons, Redoons, shift, 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 shift. Uh, let me get Terry out of here. Terry is here. There's a Terry drama. is within the area. Just so you all know, this was not part of the plan. Terrain had got completely rogue. I had no clue what he was doing. If he exposed himself, it was all over. But what ended up happening was quite the opposite. Keep digging. Keep digging. Uh, all right. It just oh goes down. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, there's a mine shaft down here. Ah. Uh, uh, hey, Rack, you may want to come down. Terrain being nearby cemented this in Rack's eyes as being a convoluted trap. This is perfect. What? Did you go down? Where'd you, where'd you go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm completely invisible. Terrain is still in the area. Is he? So this Ooh, actually makes a lot of sense. Redoons. What? Oh, there's bedrock here. Oh, there's soul sand here, uh, Redoon. There's uh, like bedrock. Dude, look over here. What? Bedrock and soul sand. I'm going to have to do some research, see what kind of trap this is. Thank you, Redoons. Thank you. Hey, I'm helpful. Okay, well, thank you. I, I got to head out. I, I'll prepare the uh, stuff for you, though. Thank you. All right, sounds good. I'm going to okay. get out of here. Bye. Bye-bye. That went a lot better than expected.
You genius! <laughs> what? What? What did I do? Right, See, right. when you logged on, right? He was on the tablets. He's like, dude, stop! Shift! I'm like, what? What's going on? He's like, oh my god, Terry's in the area! I'm like, he is? <laughs> like, I didn't even know that. I was like, oh shoot, I guess he is. Oh my god, this was hilarious. <laughs> oh, I, got, I, I just tricked the smartest <laughs> player on the life steal. And as we were celebrating, I got a DM from Rec Rap. It was a forwarded screenshot from his DMs with Perry. No shot. Oh my god. No. There is no shot. I just got a very, very bizarre DM. And I won't believe this is true. No. <laughs> no shot. Oh my god, it's true. What? 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 Parrot blew up Red Grab's castle. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible. I was just intending on this being like a very light betrayal and that was about it. No, but as I was trying to get a hold of Red Grab to tell him what actually happened, Leo Wick approached me with urgent information on the matter. Okay. I tend to not know this information. Okay. You know what happened earlier? Red Grab and Parrot. Oh yeah? So last night, Red Grab yeah. came up to me. He asked me, he was like, hey, Leo Wick, can I, can I get some help with this? He was going to give parrot an armor set of curse of vanishing and give him an extra heart and then when the time comes parrot will put that armor on and apply that heart and die record for attempting to scam me was really a shocker i mean after all i kind of done the same thing to him so I, I i i guess that's karma huh but that's besides the point rec needed to pay for what he's done i mean i had months of work just go down the drain all because rec rep wouldn't betray his best friend and I would make him regret that. I decided to put together a little test for him. I would approach Rec Rap in the coming days and exclaim I would avenge his castle by blowing up the Avenger space. Now, I may be taking this a bit too far, but th this is Minecraft. We take this very seriously. But before I can enact my plan, I got a message from Rec Rap asking to talk. Okay, I've been putting some pieces mm -hmm. together with a like uh, terrain thing. Yeah. On our way to terrain's place, right? Yeah. And you kind of just stop. Yeah. Right? And then I, I hear this on the audio, which sounds like a mute key or something. Oh, no. I right? Like as if you were typing. Yeah. yeah. This is like the main point that I was calling for. So there, there's a bit of a peculiar thing that happens here. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty tiny, but if you can see right, right here, it disappears Wait, that's a bubble. and floats away. That's a bubble. I do have my sources and I know that it was Terry. And it's awfully convenient because you you kind of like typed a bit earlier to somebody. All right, he got me. In reality, all of his accusations were true. I mean, I, I, yeah, sure, I was talking with Terry when that happened, but I couldn't confess now. That would jeopardize everything. So I had to do the unthinkable. Confront his confrontation. You can decide whether to believe me or not but I had no clue about him following us and stuff like that. In fact, I was actually pretty shocked when like you said he was like, you know, the lair thing when he was in the area. How do you think he was following us then? I had no idea, dude. So what was it that you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, I have been doing a bit of interesting analysis on life still, you know? Parrot, <laughs> Parrot yeah. kind of destroyed something that was, you know, very valuable to you, right? So uh -huh. I, yeah, my yeah. castle. And I was thinking, you know, why not destroy something that is very meaningful to him? You know what this is, right? That's Revengers this is where HQ. they live. So I was thinking, yeah, why not just blow up Parrot's base? Blow up all of the Revengers place? I don't see why not. So I'm going to be honest. I came into this call thinking you were going to admit to having terrain follow us, right? And like you were in cahoots with them because you, you, you chatted. Interesting. And I thought it was going to be like this brilliant scene where both of us haven't been being honest. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, you know how Parrot didn't drop anything when I blew him up? Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason behind that, Redoons. Okay, can you can you explain? Um, do, do you know that Parrot is actually on my team, Redoons? So yeah, what you're yeah, telling yeah. me, um, what you're telling me, is that you never betrayed Parrot. Was he in on that the entire time? Yeah. Awkwardness out of the way. How you doing, Redoons? How you feeling right now? <laughs> I don't know how to respond. You, you do realize the mm -hmm. care that he blew up my castle? Like, that's cool. Okay, I gotta hand it to Rick Rap. He did go to pretty great lengths to, you know, prevent me from figuring it all out. I mean, he, he had sent Parrot a full-blown email with details about what was gonna happen. Honestly, fair game. I, I did not see that coming. So, great job, Rick. But there, there are still consequences to your lines. Uh, in reality, Rick, 
I, I don't really care about your castle. This was just kind of a test uh -huh. because I knew you were lying the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! We were both like, all knowing we betrayed Actually, each other. Actually, it was more a test uh -huh. of trust to see if I could trust you in a legitimate business deal, which clearly I can't. Which, no, because I saved I saved Pangy from you yeah. because... Oh, yeah, no, go okay. on, go on. We're having a fun conversation here. You, you keep talking about this whole thing of like, you don't want to betray anyone's trust. But in the fact, you, yeah. you know, we had a legitimate business deal where we shook hands. We shook hands, Rekwe. I do genuinely feel well, <laughs> sad. Well, <laughs> feel a bit sadder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we leave. <laughs> tell Terrain to quicken the pace. <laughs> Want me to tell him to trap you soon? <laughs> yeah, 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 you should. Okay, you I'll should, tell him you that you're on to him. Dude, because that's all I need. I don't even care how this ends. <laughs> I just need it to end exactly, so I can make a video. Exactly, man. dude. <laughs> uh. It seemed like everything was finally coming together. Parrot was dead, Rex Castle was gone, the Revengers HQ was in shambles. But there was one last thing Rec Rap wanted to be trapped. And so, I'd provide him with that. Do you want to step inside? Yeah, I mean, am I going to die? No, you won't die. You won't die. What, what do you think this is, Rec Rap? I don't know. The, the heart shall shine to a new nation. Hello to failed migration. That's you, because the migration failed, right? I mean, sure, there's that too. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hey, Red, what's <laughs> up? How you been, my guy? How's it Yo. going? That was pretty baller, <laughs> dude. That was so epic. I may yeah. or may not have built this entire place, you know. This entire coordinate, the coordinate I offered you and part of the deal, that's a complete facade. A complete lie. What? I made all of that up. That's in fact, you know the whole soul sand stuff? It's just something I found in yeah. a chest that I put on the ground for fun. Yeah, that's basically all that was. Uh -huh. There's no trap. There's nothing. My goal this whole time has been to get trapped. <laughs> I was gonna willingly walk in here. I was, this whole time I was like, okay, today's the day I'm gonna die. Today's the day I'm finally gonna get trapped. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. 